Hello, this is Daisy, and today I am about to show you a walkthrough of creating a campaign here in Infusionsoft. When you have created your account and logged in, this will be the dashboard you're going to see minus this summary or these values. Since uh, I am about to show you building a new campaign from scratch, we will start navigating to this burger menu under Marketing tab and click the Campaign Builder. So this will be the dashboard which are, we are going to see inside. We have an option to start from a pre-built campaign but for now we're going to create our own. This will be prompted us in naming our campaign and putting a tag on it. Let's name this Billy Jean's birthday bundle campaign and then click save. Now we have a clean board to start. On this left side are the campaign tools. In what we are going to create today, we will be needing few tools. These are the tag, the sequence, and the note. It's a simple drop and drag to our board. While connecting to this tools, you'll just have to click the arrow button and click to the next tool. When it's green, it means that it is allowed to be when it's green, it only means the process is acceptable. So if not, like this one, a red color will be shown. So this means that the process is not acceptable for this one. Okay, in deleting the tools, you have to click that tool and then click the delete button. For multiple deletion, for my laptop, for my keyboard, that's shift and then click and drag to, to the tools and click any of the tools, then you can have an option to delete all. For the colors of the tool, gray means it still needs to set up. While this green stripes means it has been set up and are ready. For Billy Jean's email launch, the framework is this one. Tag, sequence, and another tag. So may, you may have noticed that this is the purpose of notes. And you can also change or rename the tags and the sequences. I named this I'll be existing list, launch emails, purchase Billy Jeans. And at the bottom, these are the notes. Emails will be stopped once they purchase the products and some notes here. Okay, so the gist of this framework is that the emails tag under this list will be receiving our launch emails and these emails are inside this sequence that we will going to show you later and automatically an email owner will be automatically tagged if someone purchased the product so sending future emails will be stopped so this, this is how this framework work, works. Let's now take a look inside the sequence. Okay. We have seven emails for this campaign launch. Five, six, and seven. The tools that we need for this one are the delay timer and the email. We have connected this one from start to the delay timer to the email 
so on and so forth to the up to the seven emails so if you want to create or copy multiple tools again on my laptop that shift click and drag and then you have an option to duplicate this again it's shift and drag and duplicate okay. so that's what i did for these seven emails so i'm going to delete this one So let's go now to the timer. So this is the delay timer. For the first email, this will be sent immediately. So I have set this up to no delay. This will run on any day at any time and then I click save. For this delay timer, the email will be sent one day after the first email. So it will be run on any day at any time again and then click save. This will be also the setup we are going to do on the other delay times. And we'll just adjust we'll going to adjust the delays or the days uh, accordingly. For editing the email, you can click view and edit. And this will direct us to this email dashboard. Okay. Like any other new email dashboard, you can now copy and paste the headline, the subject headline, and the body. As you may have noticed, I have here the contact dash first name. So this is the uh, first name that we're going to be shown on the recipient's email. To do that, you'll have to click the merge contact field and click the first name. I'm going to delete this one here. While in hyperlinking uh, a text, you have to click and highlight the text or the sentence that you want to link. Click the chain button here and then uh, paste the URL here. It's now in your control if you want this email to publish or put in draft mode. So whenever we are ready, We'll just uh, toggle this on or off. So for this email, I'll toggle this on. Okay, so that's uh, the setup or the framework for the campaign. While for the broadcast email, we'll, we will go back to the dashboard. Okay. Under this, menu, marketing tab, email and broadcast under the campaign builder tab. We will click this one. Then click get started. Since there are also options for the templates, we will be doing this from scratch. At the uh, rightmost top, we'll click the actions and then create blank email. Okay. You'll notice that it's the same layout as that of what we are creating in the campaign builder. We can now copy and paste the body and the headline of the email here. 
Okay, the only difference of this broadcast email from what we have created in the campaign builder is the delay timer. Okay, we cannot set up the de delay timer here in the broadcast email. So as you notice, the option here is not ready button but review and send. After we click the button, this will immediately be sent out to the recipients. And the recipients will be manually tagged in here. So if you prefer to do it through broadcast email, you may have to set your alarm yourself in sending the other emails. And you'll have to remove those emails from the sequence that have already purchased the product. I think that could be possible if you have a smaller list, but if you have a big one, in just sending emails will eat up most of your time. So again, that's it. We're done. I'm done. Um, giving you a walkthrough in creating a new campaign, a new email campaign in Infusionsoft. So thank you for watching and have a great day.